Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Ace Attorney. As you might remember, last time we finished off Turnabout Sisters, uh, and this time we're starting on Turnabout Samurai. Uh, this case, I've played the first four, no, first five, sorry, I've played five of the six Ace Attorney games, I haven't played Spirit of Justice. Out of those five games, I think this single case has the worst investigations. So there might be a lot of me wandering around and doing nothing for a while when I'm trying to find the right spot to activate the next part of the investigation. So I might have some stuff to talk about during those segments instead of just wandering aimlessly. Um, we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's start the case. Rah! You disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you will ever see. See you in hell, evil magistrate. The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. So this is the first cutscene we've had at the start of a case that doesn't tell you who killed the victim, which is an improvement, I think, over the previous two cases, because we don't know who the murderer is yet. Anyway, October 14th, 5.31pm, Wright & Co. Law Offices. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. I like how they were allowed to say hell, it's pretty cool. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Uh, 10 years old? And what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Oh my god, I'm older than Phoenix. I feel so weird. <laughs> then watch it with me, he's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over, I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I gonna pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16, 8.14am. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Ring, ring! Beep! Uh, hello, this is Phoenix? N -n nick Maya, what? It's still early. Uh, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Y yeah on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life! <laughs> he skewered a villain with his samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! October 16, 9.22am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Maya's here. I'm watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Oldie Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. 
the samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon, and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! Still, samurai is over! The world is over! Ring, ring! Ring, ring! Yes, right in co-law offices. What? Nick! I it's the Steel Samurai! W what? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be there. We'll be right there. Beep. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down there to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. Boop. October 16, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Uh, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder, at least once, maybe twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Um... Y y yes Something wrong? N n no no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed Oh no, oh no! No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask... I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick! What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. I don't really understand why everyone reacts so poorly to his face. He doesn't look super gross. He looks like Wolverine. Wolverine's nice. <laughs> He's, he seems like a friendly guy. I don't know. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened? Y yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. Went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal schedule for 5 in the afternoon. When 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. He took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He'd been expertly skewered with a samurai spear. Samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... that the Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the streets of Neo Albi Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> uh, I see. Neo Albi Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. 
Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick! Let's go! I'm willing to bet ten bucks you asked for autographs. October 16, Global Studios, Main Gate. I like how it stopped telling us what time it is, even though it was doing that earlier, so now it could be any time on October 16th. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You want in? You gotta go through me. Oh, oh sorry. Where, where, where are lawyers? Oh yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. It's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Youth today. Something horrible happens. Only you think of a sightseeing. Wasting time in a place like this. Don't you have a job you should be doing? <gasps> well, it doesn't work like the rest of us. Maybe I'm a lawyer too. Sounds like a life of ease to me. No work just loving around as you please. Well, I was young. Things might differ. Maybe. <laughs> can't manage that. <laughs> uh, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know, it's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to, youth today. So this is Wendy Oldbag. Her actual surname is Oldbag. I, I don't know why. So what do you do here at the studios? At the Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No! You were a star? You're only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. W wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago now, that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. The little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. He's not that, like, he, he, he doesn't look bad. What are they talking about? <laughs> Probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty! Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? There was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. 
Uh, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Yeah, we have to go back to Mr. Powers and ask him for a letter of request. Hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? R right, not at all. Uh, worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? But what? No, I'd never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Big mood, I was sleeping too. Love to sleep. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? She doesn't seem to be lying. Um, uh, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Y yes actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio, but let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Grr, she's got some nerve! Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting a representation? Uh, of course! Power's request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Alright, so now we can go back and actually get into the studio this time, because we have the letter of request. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scroll. Powers request given to the security lady. I think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. The only left from here, towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, with my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents apiece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Grab for Global Studios added to the court record. So yeah, we've just stolen that map from the security lady. Um... <laughs> great. Let's head towards the scene of the crime now. October 16th, Studio 1 entrance. Hey. Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective. Hey pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. <laughs> um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, detective? I think you heard his feelings. Oh no! I I'm sorry! Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. It's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well... We're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character, Trey. <laughs> I'd say he's a character, alright. <laughs> so how is your investigation going, detective? 
Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Autopsy report added to the court record. That's gonna be handy. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. You think I'm lying? Ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true... Anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Uh, about the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. Photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh. <laughs> um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Okay, we need to look at that camera. Oop. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Okay. Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts! I guess all cops like their donuts. Oh, all cops are bastards. <laughs> yeah, and they're soft enough, she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Why would you mention that, Phoenix? She has teeth. See, there they are. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? She had to make my life hard by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen gone through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. Maybe... it was you? Yeah, ha ha ha. Good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Well, I mean, he's dead, so... It makes sense. Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai! That too, yes. He's shown the brightest. Shon? Shown? Back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. I'm gonna took it pretty hard. Who can blame him? I don't really understand this idea that actors don't like to play villains. Like... 
I played a bunch of villains. It was fun. I don't know. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture too. I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Okay, so it's that computer over there. We would like to look at those photos if we can. The computer that runs the secur studio security cameras. Hey, no touching! Look at her teeth, they're perfect! What, what, why, would, why would he say she doesn't need teeth? Look how perfect they are! <sighs> Ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, we can't look at the cameras till we can get rid of her, so we actually need to go somewhere else and lure her away with a bit of finagling elsewhere. October 16, Global Studios, Employee Area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff! Hey look! There's Power's dressing room! No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around! Uh, uh, this is a notable thing. This is the first time we see a stepladder in the series. Oh, hang on, can I look at it? Wait, let me look at it. I'll try looking at it. Nope. It looks like a stepladder to me. Maybe it's somewhere else. I know this case definitely has a stepladder. October 16, Global Studios, dressing room. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Okay, so this is where he, he slept, presumably. Uh, it's a, this looks interesting. What's this bag here? Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! Employee card key. That must be Powers. Powers' is. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick! Borrow it. You mean borrow. Card key added to the court record. We sure do steal a lot of stuff in this game. Okay, we can now go into Studio One, which is useful because that is, we believe, the scene of the crime. So, let's go have a look. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick! I wonder if this card carry borrowed from the dressing room will work. Beep! It opened. Alright, we're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Okay, there's the stepladder I was thinking of. That's gotta be it. October 16th, Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real! Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Okay, yeah, so here's a stepladder. Look, a ladder! That's a stepladder. So? What's the difference? You need to look, stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl is out there. The relevance of that is, we're gonna see more stepladders. This is just the first one. Um, so look forward to more stepladders and more stepladder related jokes. Um, there's not actually much that we can do in here. Uh, we can look at uh, over here, I guess. Hey look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone! A real live megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. Yeah, there aren't really a whole lot of clues in this room. Um, we can take a look at the outline. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I created a spear stab and will leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. And there's not much to look at in here, actually. Um, camera maybe? Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! <laughs> oh my, uh... 
Hey, you, no touching that. Oh, look at this cutie. Oh, I'm sorry, my partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers, WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But, uh, do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never heard a fly, he has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. So yeah, this is Penny. Uh, she's super cute. There she is. I love her. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios... The studios isn't? The studios aren't? The studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there. JH? Not, not, not JH? Hammer? Alright. Along with everyone else. The employee area. That's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's private... What kind of a girl do you think I am? What, what kind? No, no, I'm, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but uh, that day, this afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some of the studio employees, maybe? N no, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, no thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Um, yeah, we should keep talking. Boop. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Y yes, I, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Okay, let's go back and talk to Wendy again. I don't think the game's told us her name, but it, it is Wendy Oldbag. That's her name. I, I don't know why it's not telling us her name. I mean, we got her name, and she didn't even tell us her name. So, I don't know. <sighs> Penny didn't even introduce herself, but somehow we know her full name. October 16, Global Studios, Main Gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Oh, sorry, really? You look as though- you look as though- you look as though you've seen a ghost. I don't know, I got a voice wrong for that. Distance claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1pm, correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Yeek! Alright, you better tell me, you better tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? 
Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Ha! Huh. She's not even a full-time employee. All you young'uns are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow saying this and that and the other thing. When I was young, you would tell you, I know nothing about three year olds. Back when we did this in crying shame yesterday, to tell you, please, what are these? <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Yeah, we can look at this. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1pm that day. 1 o'clock. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Let's enter the number of the security camera. So, this is why we had to look at the camera earlier, so we knew what the number was. I believe it was 307. We'll go back and check if I've forgotten. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. <gasps> huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Powers' photo added to the court record. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place for this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said! Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Phoenix, you, you gave the murderer evidence, like, in the previous case. What are you doing? <laughs> Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. What, you could be the next... Evil Magistrate! Hey! Why do I have to be the villain? They still haven't fixed that punctuation. That should, should, have, should be a question mark or something, but it's it's been like that in every version of the game. Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? And that's the end of the investigation segment. Next time we move on to the first trial of Turnabout Samurai. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!